like he just ran into the back. I can't see who that is, but yeah, it's a 26, 26 car. car. Yep. On today. 26 car run into him, in the back of him earlier? They was knocking on the back door. No. Going through the... Yeah, uh, happened to the course yep. crew. Souvenirs. Makes it a little easier on him. How about the arrow on that uh, car right about now? Uh, not too good, but if they throw a full course yellow, this is going to help big time for him. That's why he didn't hit pit lane right there. He's hoping for a full course yellow. That's going to buy him a lot of time. They won't go down a lap or more if they get that caution. 20 car, Light Singer going by. There's your race leader, Brabham, and the Patron Highcroft machine, and the 66 of Jill DeFerrin. The seven car, Timo Bernhard. That's the 61 car. Lots of peaches and, and parts coming off that, so. There come the leaders charging by. You see there's a, oh, there's all kinds of stuff yep. flying off that car. Once you start shredding that tire, it usually takes some of the car body parts along with it. That's Brabham, the Baron. Timo Bernard. One, two, three. And that's a couple of Acuras trying to hold off a of Porsche. If Porsche gets the podium at P2, they get the Manufacturer's Championship to go along with the driving championship already accomplished by the Penske guys. Bill, one thing the Acuras did here this weekend, they got very aggressive with their tire compound choice. They went very soft, giving them great grip. Now, when you have a caution like this, the big problem is typically getting pickup, the little marbles of rubber that get left around the racetrack. You're running around at low speed, but picks those up and gives you low grip when you go back to green. Fortunately for the guys, however, this Laguna Seca Raceway gives you very...